Yep, I'm back to where I started. Again, this time we're gonna do it for real. And this time I didn't do it without alerting that imp. I was doing very well until the Baron of Hell or Hell might ruin my chances of getting out of here. Hmm, I'll, I'll get that for the time being. I mean, why do I keep wasting ammo? Top of them chain gun dudes around, you know. Oh, it's not again. Hold still. Where are you going? Oh, got gift once again. Oh, too late. I'm gonna be mauled by the spectres if I don't do anything. There's just three of them this time. We've seen the Pinky Demon system control. The yellow door, which we can't go through that just yet because we need to get the yellow key still. I should have done if it wasn't for that bound of hell or hell knight killing me. Try and do what Ultimate Man Toy did when he did his Let's Play of PlayStation Doom. Gotcha now. Oh, uh, maybe not. Oh, Oh, he got him this time. What the? Did he just open up that exit? Hold still! It's hard to keep focus of your enemies. And there's no medkit here. Well, there is in Hermit Plenty, and I am a wimp. Oh dear. You bad. Also, say too bad. Oh, you can see the chain gun, dude. I need to keep my distance from that chain gun guy. Anyway, as I was saying last time, I'm pretty sure most people will be psyched at Doom 4 coming out. I mean, it will have better graphics than what Doom 3 has. Uh, I'm not sure about getting a P PS4 though. Oh, come on! Really? I'm not sure what. No, even though I don't know which monsters are going to return in Doom 4. But Doom is. No, the imps are going to return, so it's the Mancubus, and the Cyber Demon, and the Revenant, and the... Well, you know, the Cacodemons are going to return in a new Doom game. So I like classic Doom a lot better, and... I like the classic Doom games a lot better, and so do... So I do... So I, I do like... <sighs> I'm getting a muddled up here with my sentences. I really do like classic Doom a lot better, and so does... What I'm trying to say is, I like Classic Doom better, and so do Doom 3. But in the meantime, there's, there's more of them down with the chain gun. I'm not going to use the chainsaw on all of them, because they'll surround me and be isolating me and killing me. It's like if, for example, if you're fighting a crocodile, for instance, and then you others watch what's going on and they're going for the kill. It's like, well, tigers tend to do that.
Why am I going around this sack house? I'm making you all feel, making you all dizzy. Come on, it's like in my let's play of Lovecraft search for search for reptiles. You may remember that Mr. Fred, when he was spinning his head round, <laughs> was like, "We you stop doing that? People who are watching this are getting dizzy." In the meantime, I do something I should have done in the last video. Even we are, even though we're in a new Doom game, I don't know if the Lost Souls are going to return in that. In the Doom 4, like I said earlier, I'm not sure if the Lost Souls are going to return in that. And so do the Arachnotrons or the Spider Mastermind. I mean, it's like whenever it Soft decides to make a, re a reboot of Doom, they always bring back the original demons from the classic Doom games and they sometimes come up with some new ones like they did with Doom 3 when they were making it they brought, when they were making Doom 3 they brought back the imps and the mancubus, the revenant, the pinky demon, the cyber demon, and the lost souls and they also came up with some new demons like for example the maggots and the waves and the cherubs and they didn't bring back the other demons now, like the Pain Elementals, and the Spider Masterminds, and the Arachnotrons, and the Bounds of Hell. Well, they did brought back the Hell Knights. <laughs> well, well, not them type, really. I mean, the Hell Knights in Doom 3 are a bit bulky without the, the goat-like, the horse-like hooves, and the horns. I mean, I like the Hell Knights in Doom 3, because they're more bulkier. Well, that these ones are okay in classic Doom. I mean, that uh, you should have seen the Pinky Demon in Doom Three. I mean, it looks a bit like a dog with mechanical legs. You know, the, the Pinky Demon in Doom Three has mechanical legs. But like uh, seeing the Pinky Demon with mechanical legs reminds me of the Slicks from the Art World games. You know, like from Abe's Odyssey, Abe's Exodus, and Munch's Odyssey. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I bought a. Uh, Apes Odyssey reimagining called Odd World New and Tasty. Uh, I really enjoyed playing that. It's just like Apes Odyssey, but with it's made with it's made entirely with 2.5D. You know, like Pandemonium, for instance. Uh, I remember the cutscenes uh, seen in the original, but some that weren't uh, featured in the original. Like I remember a cutscene after you left the stockyard, where there was a cutscene where the, the main antagonist of Apes Odyssey, Moloch the Glucken, was watching what Apes been doing earlier. Before you escape rupture farms, which you should have seen Moloch cracking his neck. <laughs> like, like, why does, like, how dare that Mutokin crosses me? I mean, you know, he's the CEO of Rupture Farms, and he is also the CEO of Soulstorm Brewery, which was seen in Abe's Exodus. You know, I'm not sure about doing a let's play of these odd world games. You know, I do like Munch's Odyssey best because it's made entirely in 3D. You know, some of you may judge me on that, really. In the meantime, let's do something I should have done earlier. For some reason the teleporter doesn't activate, though. Ouch! Get clear. Whoa! Ouch! How am I going to get rid of them? Bounds of Hell and Hell Knights. Let's go with the weaker ones first, which are the Hell Knights. I mean, we're going to be seeing them a lot throughout, like the Bounds of Hell here. Oh, we can get them to fight each other. I mean, they do that in the, play in the PlayStation versions. I'm not sure they do it in Doom 64, though. In the meantime, let's go for that other Baron. Well, look at the Baron wasn't behind me. We'll see who will win. Tough or weak? You decide. You can see the Hell Knight over there to my left, and the Baron of Hell, the ones that are fighting. Well, you have to place your best to see who will win. Tough or weak? I mean, tough is on your left, weak is on your right. Take your bets now. Let's take care of this Baron here.
you can tell they look exactly the same, but different colour. I'm not quite sure the Bounds of Hell are going to return in, in the new Doom game. Well, I like the Revenant in Doom 3 a lot better. You know, the Revenant... They go like... <gasps> well, I didn't like the Lost Souls in Doom 3 though, but I like the Forgotten Ones in Resurrection of Evil. In the meantime, let's see who will win. Oh, tough one's the winner. Also, so he's the the Baron of Hell's the victor. I mean, he's more t they're more tougher than the Hell Knights, really. In the meantime, let's go for him. I mean, the goal here is get them to fight and and kill whoever wins. I mean, the Baron Barons of Hell has more health points than the Hell Knights, really. That one activate. Oh, ah, oh, didn't grab the double barrel shotgun. Yes, got the double barrel shotgun back. I mean, you notice this is a full length one, not a sawn off one. I remember seeing that on Crime Watch. You know, they featured the sawn off shotgun in the uh, murder of Jim Stanton in Aintree. I mean, it was devastating, that crime. I mean, it wasn't... It, I think it was a target attack, really. But the way you look at it, it's almost like a, a robbery gone wrong. And also, I've seen that again in that appeal, when they trying to get information of that aggravated burglary that happened in that rural home in New Chapel in Surrey, near where the husband and wife and their two teenage daughters were held up at gunpoint by an armed gang. Or... They were wearing like balaclavas and dust masks, and they were wearing those distinctive yellow and orange gloves. You, you know, them worker gloves that have these little plastic grips on them. And you know, and the fingers and the thumb and the palm of your hand palm. And also, I've seen that double bell shotgun again, and that other one in like, like Kingswood in Surrey, you know, where with a pregnant woman and the other. The women were, were, were being burgled by just one man where he was out. He was dressed in black and he was like abusing one of them, but like kicking it, for instance. And also, you should have seen the way he led them upstairs. And that may suggest that he had some form of, you know, military training. I mean, after the ordeal, he just like kicked them in the sides, like including the one who's pregnant. And I hope they'll catch him before he does it again. In the meantime, let's focus on this. Hey, you see that double barrel shotguns do pack a mighty punch. Even though they use like two. It can contain two shotgun shells. Oh yeah, the shells have pellets inside of them, which means that when they're fired, they, the pellets will spread everywhere. That's Hell Knights again. Look at them! This is like the Bruiser Brothers in Knee Deep in the Dead, you know, with two bounds of hell at the end of Knee Deep in the Dead. This time we have two Hell Knights. <laughs> Imagine them having the, being the boss of Knee Deep in the Dead. Oh yeah, this bit opens, whereas in the, I think in the PC version you have to go through, you have to jump through there. Let's grab the regular, the mega armor. God, bleh. Sorry! I've, Oh, I've done too much stuff, really. Like, let's see here. I know this switch activates a teleporter from where, kill, where the spectres come from. In the meantime, let's grab that supercharge at where the chain gun dudes were. Huh, I feel like I've been talking too much. Wait, did I just pick up the... No.
In the meantime, let's pick up some of the weapons. It's an ammo, I mean. Let's go back to see if I haven't left anything. I'm doing a lot of backtracking, really. I've got 200% health and 200% armor. There's a helmet I previously killed. Also, if you remember, in like, heard me plenty. If you go through this exit, uh, there'll be like a Hell Knight or some, with some chain gun dudes guarding it. Which I. Let's grab them while they're at <sighs> That was worth completing this! And now we're going to. Wormhole! Which I haven't got time to do it. So I will continue doing it on the next video. And until then. As soon as we enter this, I'm going to cut off here. Here we are, wormhole. And like I said, I will see you next time. Bye.